people that, that's kind of like people that quit. How many people know people that quit all the time on something? It's kind of like liars. How many people know people that lie, right? Like my mentor, you know, Mr. Roman say, well, why do people lie? Because that's what liars do. <laughs> they lie. It's like the scorpion and the turtle. Why did you sting me? That's what I do. I sting people. Why do quitters quit? That's what they do. How could you get mad at somebody who quits on you when they quit on themselves first? How can you get mad at somebody who lies on you or to you when they lie to themselves first? Is everybody getting that so far? See, when you mind your own business, you never have to worry about somebody else's. See, the only people that have time or energy to talk about somebody else, how many people know people that when you talk to them, they always talk about somebody. Right? They just got something to say. When it, no matter, you could just, you know they come over there about to tell you about something or somebody. Here's what you gotta understand. People that have time to talk about somebody else don't have enough going on in their own life. Get excited for them and know that they will either be your biggest cheerleader or your greatest inspiration. And just know when they walk away from you, be very careful about this, know when they walk away from you, if they're talking to you about somebody else, when they walk away, they will be talking about you. My goal is to give something to everyone to talk about. Because <laughs> if I give something to everyone to talk about, that means I'm doing something. For those who remember the first half, when I say I, I'm talking about you. You being me, me being you, us being our, us being what. Is everybody following that so far? We're going to get into that in a little bit. Powerful thing. So we have I, which is indispensable. We have M, which is not negotiable. We have until we have T, which is time. And we have I, which is incredible. You have to be incredible. Who's incredible in here? Me. Oh, you're incredible. So me, stand up and tell us why you're incredible. Because I help others succeed. Keep going. Keep explaining why you're incredible. I got a thousand reasons why you're incredible. You go ahead and tell, well, tell people why you're incredible. You normally don't do this, but I want you to do it. He's so humble, he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> and we know he's incredible. Go ahead. You put me on the spot. Okay, I want you to think about it. We're going to come back to it. Who else wants to? I got you to me. Who else wants to tell me why you're incredible? Please, ask. I'm incredible <laughs> Outstanding. Give him a round. That was beautiful. I'm incredible because my friend Randy was doing a podcast with me last week, and I promised her I'd be here today. And we had some crazy circumstances, but I came just to honor my word. And I'm incredible because I picked a loving person to babysit my two bigger kids and have been breastfeeding and diaper changing just to be here today. And I want to be a contribution to the people that are contributing to me. Which is incredible. Woo! So we got past Kaya being incredible. Then we have him, which is what? Master. Say it again. Master. Which means you have to be the master of your ship. You need to master your vocation and your craft. And then we have, after him, we have A, which is what? Say it again. Which means you have to get great at accomplishing things. Now, why is it that I'm going over this? One, because of the people that missed, but more so it's for the people that were here. Because the average person only retains 10% of what they hear. The average person only retains 10% of what they hear. You might want to write that down and remember that. As you're learning as a leader, the average person only retains 10% of what they hear, and as fast as I talk, you'll only retain five. That's why you record. <laughs> that is why you record, and that's why you repeat what you're saying five, six, seven times. That's why if you're actually gonna sell a piece of property, they need to see it a minimum of four times, preferably seven. If you're gonna get a new prospect on your team, they need to see your opportunity at least four times, 
a minimum of seven. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it has to be exposed at least four to seven times before they have any comprehension about what you're actually marketing. A house, a rock, a car, an opportunity. Is everybody getting that so far? Yeah. And once you understand numbers, once you understand numbers, once you understand the, the, the game, the game is not how great of a salesperson you are. The game is not how great of a business person you are, a presenter you are. It's the one who understands the numbers. It's the sower of the seed. It's the farmer who learns how to plant the seeds long, strong, and hard enough that they have enough seeds. That they use. Well, here's what's amazing when people get into business. They plant one or two seeds. They, I mean, think about it. If you're doing an open house and only three people saw the house, how many people are going to buy it? It doesn't matter how great a person you are in real estate, if you're actually a broker or an agent, if only three people sold the house, she's never had any experience in real estate, hypothetically, and she goes and she shows the house to 100 people, you only showed it to three. Who's gonna find the qualified buyer? <laughs> the person showed it to 100. It's always a numbers game. It's always about numbers. So you gotta figure out how to get more done, I believe in literally one minute on 100 people versus 100 minutes on one. You gotta figure out how to collapse time frames on your exposures for whatever it is that you're marketing in business. Is everybody following me, yes or yes? yes. yes. Is this helping anybody yet? Yes. yes. Okay, stick with me here, I'm going somewhere. So now we have the mastery of your vocation. And then we have actually, after mastery, we have intimate, we got A, accomplish. We have T, which is what the, what's the T? The time same? bomb. Time bomb. You have to learn how to put a time limit on your bomb. You need to figure out how to explode your life. You gotta figure out how to launch your business. You need to figure out how to launch your project. See, I was just having a conversation with a few people and you guys saw me on the break. And that is for me, I've taken probably about the last three and a half weeks and done no business in my business. Now I have machinery, I have, I have, I have systems that have maintained my business. I created enough momentum and enough systems and enough duplication that I can walk away and do what I need to do while my systems are still producing me massive results and a profit. Is everybody following me on that so far? But I had to detox and separate myself from my existing employees and my existing team so that I can get a restart or a reset because it's a computer. I need a reset. Anybody ever need a reset? Right. So this isn't work to me. This is the, the conversation I'm having with you guys right now is me training me. So if ever you wanted to be trained by an extraordinary mind, I am that crazy person that has great conversations with myself. Shut up, no, for real, I'm serious <laughs> on this. All, right? we, we, all of us, we get down together. Are y'all with me on that so far? How many of you know you have conversations with yourself because you know nobody else is gonna understand you? Okay? That's the only reason y'all in this room, because y'all crazy, law of attraction, I'm crazy, y'all crazy, it's okay, we all need white jacket. But it's the crazy people that make crazy things happen. So you need a time bomb on your life, does that make sense? You need to make sure, just like if you're setting up a bomb and you're walking away from it, you don't want to be on top of that bomb, is everybody following me on that so far? You don't want to be on top of that bomb when it explodes. You want to set it up, walk away, and know that whatever you put in place or in motion, is gonna create an explosion in your life and everybody else's life around you. That's what I mean by the time bomb. Too many people live in a string of what I call Chinese firecrackers. It never explodes, it's just pop, 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 pop. They're trying to figure out why they can't carry or catch the number one word that makes you money on the universe and the planet Earth is one word. Do you wanna write it down? You guys, anybody wanna know what it is? Yes. Write it down, it's called momentum. You want to find how to create momentum in your life. You want to figure out how to create momentum in your business. You want to figure out how to create momentum in your marriage. You want to figure out how to create momentum. Momentum. Everything has to be momentum. The spaceship takes 30 to 40% of the gas just to get into orbit. And then it sails 100 times farther than it took to get that gas up there. See, you got to blast off. If what you're doing is not working, you need to redesign yourself and stop right now. And over the next 48 hours, you need to redesign the plan that is not working for you. I don't understand why so many people are masochists and they continue to do the same thing over and over like it's, it's going to get better. It's like in a relationship, it's going to get better. No, it's not. I was in a relationship with an amazing woman. Amazing woman. She was amazing. Did I say she was amazing? Yeah, yeah. She was amazing. <laughs> what? Not anymore, not in my life. So she, <laughs> to somebody, she is amazing. She was Sri Lankan, and she was, she was amazing, driven. She had, it was so amazing of a relationship. She had already made 
she had a tragedy that drove her. She actually, uh, it's the only time I was engaged, she actually, um, her father got tragically murdered when she was 18. She was left to raise five sisters younger than her. She put all five sisters through college herself. Finished undergrad while finishing grad while working. And by the age of 30 had already saved up $3 million. Ooh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's worth that one. Powerful one. You gotta be crazy and powerful to deal with me because I'm not an easy guy to work with. But anyway. I didn't know all that until the end of the relationship. That's how powerful the relationship was because I had mine, she had hers. All we knew how to do was explore and be adventurous and enjoy life. Is everybody following me on that so far? Mm -hmm. But the alpha side, we kept clashing because she, was, she had learned how to be so independent, she didn't learn how to be in her role as a woman and allow me to be in my role as a man. Mm -hmm. So it became too competitive where we were clashing. And so literally it became so toxic that we kept saying it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better, it's gonna, I stayed in the relationship because like we can make it work. And she wanted to get married and she wanted to have children and I was in the middle of my journey driving towards completing some goals in my life. And so I told my father, you know, I think I'm gonna marry her. I said, she wants to get married, I'm gonna make her happy by getting married. She wants to get married, she wants kids, I do wanna have more kids, let's get married and have some kids. And my father gave me the best advantage. Great, greatest advice on the planet at that point in my life. And he said, if it's not working now, you get married, it's just gonna get 100 times worse. How many people understand that conversation without me training on it tonight, <laughs> okay? So I had to bow out because he's like, if the honeymoon is already challenging, God forbid you get married. <laughs> and you're locked in? He said, run. So I, I, I did what he told me to do. And I'm so much happy because she's happy and I'm happy and we're best friends now. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that last T is time bomb. You gotta set time bombs. You gotta create new and new time bombs. And I wanna go a little bit further on the time bomb just for a second, just for a second. I want you to understand with a time bomb, are you guys with me, yes? Mm -hmm. It has to excite you. You have, to, you have to find the things that totally excite you. Don't set up things that you think are going to make other people happy. Don't do things that you think are going to appease other people. Don't do things because society tells you to do that. Don't chase money because money is out there. Is everybody getting this so far? Yeah. You need to set up your life and create an event out of your life. How much money do they put in a, May, a Mayweather fight? How much money did they put in an Ali fight? How much money do they put in an NFL championship game? How much money do they put in the NFL championship game? How much money do they put in the, in the NHL championship game for hockey? How, much, how many commercials do you see? Is everybody following me on this so far? I mean, before Christmas comes, how many commercials do you see? I mean, if you could go to the store before Christmas comes, and you could be in November, they're already putting, you're already hearing Christmas songs. Before any holiday, they've already, they're promoting the heck out of it. Yes or yes? Yes. Now, what are you doing for your life? What events have you promoted at that level for your life? Because they start with small events, and then they turn into massive events, and massive events, and massive events. And now all of a sudden, people are like, how did you become who you became? You made your life an event serving other people. You have to become, write this down, a master promoter. Not an annoying promoter, but a master promoter. Because some, some people just, it's like, oh my God, here they come again. Are y'all following me on that so far? You cannot be a, a, a nuisance. You have to do it from a positive energy perspective. Right, where people are just, oh, wow. And you have to be consistent. Back to my four C's. I told you the four C's, I can read a 